Hello everyone. This week, because we're thinking about St George, because it's St George's Day on Friday, I thought we would have another story about a dragon as well. Not the same story as you've had, but it's still about finding dragons. And here we go. I have my dragon friend here who's come to listen to our story too. So I'm going to sit in there and then he can listen. And our story is called Where's the Dragon? And it's by Jason Hook, written by Jason Hook, so he's the author, and illustrated by Richard Hook, so the illustrator draws the pictures. And they certainly are very beautiful pictures. Each and every year, on the first day of summer, little George hurried off to visit his grandfather. The old man had a dog named Meg and a workshop full of wonders. He could carve anything George asked him to. Kites, clocks, flutes, fiddles and wonderful wooden dragons. And as he carved, Grandfather told amazing tales about an enormous old dragon who lived in the mountains. His tales seemed so real that George felt he could almost see the dragon. But this year, as Grandfather finished his tales, George asked, Do you think perhaps I'm too old to believe in dragons? Seeing is believing, cried Grandfather. It's time I took you on a dragon hunt. He asked George to carry all sorts of strange things down to his boat. A telescope, an umbrella, a magnifying glass and an ancient yellow map. Finally, Grandfather put on a hat with a long fluffy feather. This, he chuckled, is my dragon hunting hat. Off they sailed to hunt for the dragon. George was so full of questions, it was a wonder he didn't burst. Is he a big dragon? asked George. As big as the sky, roared Grandfather. He must be easy to see, said George. No, 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 not at all, said Grandfather. To see a dragon, you must hunt high and low and always believe hard enough. When night fell, they tied up the boat and found a nice place to sleep. As they settled down on the riverbank, George, Grandfather and Meg stared up the dark sky. Look, Grandfather, whispered George, pointing up at the stars. What's that winking in the sky? Oh, yes, sighed Grandfather. What a beautiful moon. Mm, is it a moon? Can you see something else there instead? They all slept well, they all dreamed of dragons, and Meg snored so loudly that the ground seemed to shake and shudder. Mm. Was it the dreams that were shaking the ground, I wonder? What do you think? In the morning, Grandfather's boat had vanished into thin air. Was it the dragon? George wondered. Not at all, grumbled Grandfather, who was a little short-sighted. Dragons always leave footprints. Can you see anything that looks a little bit like a footprint? And 
Dragons always live on mountain tops, said Grandfather, striding off up a path. A tail! A tail! George cried, trying to catch up with the old man. We've no time for tails, puffed Grandfather. There's a dragon to hunt. <gasps> what are they walking up? Do dragons breathe fire? panted George. Not at all, wheezed Grandfather, taking off his dragon hunting hat and mopping his brow. My, but it's hot today. Is it the weather that's hot or can you see something else in the picture? Mm. As they reached the top of the mountain, George was sure he believed in dragons. He pointed and shouted, He's high! Yes, it is high, said Grandfather, who was a little hard of hearing. Dragons always live up high. The mouth! shrieked George. Of a cave! shouted Grandfather. So that's where the dragon's hiding. And with that, he leapt into the darkness, waving his umbrella about his head. George yelled out. Meg barked. But it was too late. Perhaps it was dragon hay fever. Perhaps it was a dragon cold. Most likely, it was the long, fluffy feather on Grandfather's dragon hunting hat. Whatever it was, it made the dragon sneeze a sneeze that shook the mountain. Oh, quite a breeze blowing, bellowed Grandfather as he somersaulted over their heads. The dragon hunt was over. Next year, we'll hunt higher and lower and believe even harder, cried George. Then we're sure to see the dragon. Of course, chuckled George, holding Grandfather's hand and winking at Meg. After all, seeing is believing. Do you think George realised the dragon was there? I think he probably did. I think you're right. So this is a story about George and the dragon, but it's a bit different to St George and the dragon, isn't it? Hope you enjoyed that. I think my dragon friend certainly did. Bye!